winter fragrances for men that women love. So I've compiled a small list of fragrances that are, at least to me and to many other people, are extremely, extremely attractive when uh, men wear them. So as always, everything I mention will be available in the Amazon associate links down in the description below. I'm going to start with just a very popular, very kind of renowned option, which is Leighton from Parfum de Mali in this very nice heavy bottle. This is really nice if you're looking for something really cozy, spicy, and sweet all at the same time. So this is surprisingly sweet for a men's fragrance, but at the same time, the spiciness, it has some cardamom in it, balances it out. Very, very pleasant, very warm fragrance. This is perfect for winter. You could also wear it in the autumn, obviously, whenever it's cold. Um, it's just a reliable, very strong scent. Uh, I would say longevity on this is probably around eight hours. It will definitely stick to your skin and just stay there uh, until you wash it off, which is always a bonus. You don't have to, you don't have to reapply it or worry about reapplying it. And the downside is the price. Uh, if you, you know, get it directly from Parfum de Mali, you're going to spend three to four hundred dollars. But if you could go to a discounter, you could probably get a few hundred dollars off, which is always, of course, a bonus. Uh, but this is definitely a reliable fragrance, very strong, very appealing uh, to smell, uh, very cozy and things like that. Now, kind of in a similar vein in terms of kind of warm, slightly sweet uh, fragrances, I would say Monserrat Tobacco. This is a unisex option. Um, now, main notes here, obviously the tobacco mixed with a pretty sweet vanilla note. Now, I would say it's not crazy sweet. I would say it's actually slightly less sweet than Leighton, which is known for being on the sweeter side. So the thing about this, it, the tobacco balances out the vanilla perfectly. Now, it is still pretty sweet, not too crazy, but I think it's pretty appealing because it's not sugary sweet, it's not feminine sweet too much. Um, it's really nicely balanced and the tobacco note is just really really nice. It is probably one of the smoothest tobacco notes uh, that I've come across in fragrances just in general. You know, it's not too crazy or harsh or too rustic or rugged. Now, uh, longevity on this is really really good as well. I would say minimum eight hours. It's one of those kind of you know, really clingy uh, types of fragrances, which is always a bonus in my books. Now, the big thing about this is that it's just very cozy. It's a kind of comfort comforting, warm type of fragrance. Really nice, again, for like midwinter when it's really cold. Very warm and cozy type of, of fragrance here. Um, and you don't need to put on a lot because it is pretty concentrated. Just put on a few sprays, it will immediately, you know, have that projection, that power, uh, which is always nice. So then, if you want something a little bit similar, you don't want much sweetness at all, uh, then I would say go for Morning Chess from Wilhelm Parfumerie. So this is pretty much a leather fragrance. That's the main thing you smell. Nice, worn, kind of beaten leather like old leather gloves or like a saddle, you know, from a horse. Uh, definitely, this is definitely rustic, rugged. Um, I really like the smell of leather. I think it's a very, very attractive scent. Uh, this does it really well. Uh, it also has some, it's hard to describe. Besides the leather, it's just generally warm and smooth um, and things like that. Now, besides the leather, it isn't super strong. I would say longevity is about five-ish hours, maybe six. Uh, so it's more of those uh, sort of smooth type of uh, fragrance instead of worrying too much about the projection, going beast mode, you know, that sort of thing. So more subtle option here, which is nice if you, you know, you don't want to wear anything too crazy, maybe something more natural, more, you know, skin to skin sort of uh, smell to it. So very more natural here uh, with that, that leather note, more just simple and rugged. So this uh, in general is also very unique, mainly because it's more niche and most people don't know about it. So when you do wear this, uh, you're definitely going to stand out. You're definitely going to attract more attention. Um, just a, a very attractive, simple uh, scent here. 
Now, going on to something that's way more popular, but still pretty unique, I would say Replica Jazz Club. This is one of my personal favorites to smell just in general, um, mainly because of how, you know, it tries to emulate the smell of a jazz club. It has some of the boozy notes, it has some kind of smokiness, it has, you know, what you would expect to find in a jazz club. So it's a pretty seductive, pretty heavy type of fragrance, very smooth. Um, I really like how it blends the smoky notes with, you know, some of the more alcoholic notes and things like that. It's just very pleasant. I think there's some leather in there as well. In general, very masculine, but not too crazy. Um, very smoothed out, sophisticated, worldly, uh, that sort of thing. And in general, very likable, kind of designed to be likable, friendly, agreeable, uh, all that. So you can't really go too wrong with this. It's also strong without being too strong. Longevity is more probably six to seven hours, more moderate, nothing crazy, but in general, just a likable type of fragrance. You can't really go wrong with it unless you just don't like kind of the smoky notes and, and that sort of stuff. But uh, then the last one, which is probably by far my absolute favorite. This is Blue Noir, if you can see. Blue Noir from Narciso Rodriguez. Uh, this is phenomenal. It has you know, some spice notes like cardamom and nutmeg. It has some musk. It has ebony wood. Uh, whenever I smell this, I just go crazy. This is I wear this myself often because it's just it just smells so good. Um, mixing the cardamom with you know the woodsy notes. There's some amber thrown in there. Uh, this is just a phenomenal fragrance. Very strong. Eight hours uh, on longevity. Um, pretty unique smelling. Um, especially considering, you know, it's a more popular scent, but it still maintains a certain air of uniqueness, uh, which is hard to do. Now, in general, this is just, this is definitely a more evening time type of fragrance, mainly because it's warm and heavy, but you could definitely, I mean, obviously for winter, you could wear this all, all winter long, uh, and as well as the, the autumn as well. Pretty much just a cold weather scent for the most part. It, it would be too intense, I would say, for uh, the summer. But um, despite that, a very, very attractive fragrance. You could tell it's high quality. You could tell it is a sophisticated, uh, very attractive option. But um, that is pretty much my list for uh, winter fragrances for men that women love. So hopefully you found this video helpful, uh, and if you did, of course, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.